Hi, my name is uh, Mihai Boyko, and in this video I will show you how to install Google plugin for Eclipse, for Google App Engine. Let's start a web browser and uh, we'll search for the developersgoogle.com. Uh, then here you search for uh, Eclipse and you already see the Google plugin for Eclipse. So let's get started. First thing that we need to do is to install the plugin. Uh, now, depending on what version of uh, Eclipse you installed, you need to select the direct plugin link corresponding to it. In our case, it's Mars 4.5, so we'll select this one. Next, we start Eclipse, and here we need to select the workspace if it's not selected by default. And um, after the Eclipse is started, we go in the Help uh, menu and uh, in the sub-menu for installing new software. Uh, click on uh, the sub-menu and here you need to type or select the site from where you want the new software to be installed uh, in the work with area. We paste the site and you can see, you may need to wait a few minutes to retrieve this information, but you can see what you can get from the site. We will not install all the Google plugin, only the one working with App Engine. We don't install the Google plugin for Android because we don't plan to create an Android application. If you plan to create an Android application, then it's recommended to install also the tools for the Android uh, application. So, uh, at the top, the developer tools are all for the Android, so we will really ignore those ones. After you selected everything, you click on Next, and you will have the chance to review all the components that will be installed with their version, and then we need to agree to the license. You need to read all the licenses, click on I accept and click on the button finish. You will get a warning, a security warning, that installing software from unknown content provider and uh, click OK. And after the installation is done, you will need to restart the Eclipse program. After restart, the program will contain the Google plugin for uh, Eclipse. We can check this by going in Help, installation check installation details, and click on it. And here you see all the plugins and software that is installed in uh, Eclipse, and you can see the Google plugin and the uh, uh, Google Web Toolkit uh, that were installed uh, in our video.